Hello, as I'm working from my home office today, there are a few things that I would like for us to consider together. Second Chronicles 7.14 is a very familiar verse of scripture to many of us. It states in the words of the Lord, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from my wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Many sermons have been preached from this verse regarding revival and spiritual awakening. I have preached some of those sermons. Many spiritual leaders and many followers of Jesus long for revival. For several years, our church conducted annual missional holiness conferences with the tagline, Fanning the Flames of a 21st Century Holiness Revival. We hunger for a fresh movement of the Holy Spirit that brings revival in the church and spiritual awakening in the world. In these days of self-quarantine, social distancing, working from home, school closings, and forbiddance of gathering in groups, the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me afresh. Could it be that God wants to use COVID-19 to provide space in our lives for him to move in fresh ways? I do not mean to infer that this has somehow come as a punishment from an angry God, nor that God sent this deadly disease in answer to our prayers for revival. But God does work in all things for our good. The context of Second Chronicles 7.14 is the dedication of Solomon's temple in Jerusalem. In Second Chronicles chapter 6, Solomon prays a lengthy prayer of dedication, asking God to be attentive to the prayers made there. A few situations that Solomon mentioned in that prayer are found in 2 Chronicles 6, verses 28 to 31. Notice the sequence. Plagues, war, disaster, and disease lead to prayer and repentance. God responds to that prayer in chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. When these things happen, if my people will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, where he dwells, will forgive their sin, and heal their land. In these days that COVID-19 is sweeping the globe, and disease and death are increasing in our nation, could it be that God is tuned into our prayers, repentance, and desire for revival? Is it a prime time to search our own hearts, repent of our own sins, and seek fervently the face of the Lord? Could God use this tragic time of death and disease to open the door for a new, fresh movement of his Holy Spirit in his church? Could a revived church be moved in new ways to bring transformation in our homes, neighborhoods, communities, cities, nation, and the world? Could COVID-19 be placing us at the cusp of a 21st century holiness revival? It really depends on how we, who are called by his name, respond.